Hey there, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we have a bit of a mix of things that I wanted to do. So I wanted to build something like a trailer home, and at the same time, I also wanted to build not necessarily a tiny house, but a 10k house, which at the end of the day basically did end up meaning a tiny house, since there's only so much you can buy with only 10k. Now, originally, this was going to be that whatever the building was would be 10k, but I ended up deciding that I wanted to include the lot value in it as well. So for this build, you can place it on a 20 by 15 lot and be right under 10k. So when you first start off, your sim will typically have around 10k. I don't know if when you do the story mode where it automatically sets some skills and stuff for your sim, if it ends up being that your sim has a good job, so sometimes they'll be at level 3 of a career, for example, they have a possibility of starting out with more than 20k, but I don't know if the opposite also applies, that you can start with less than 20k. So I kept in mind that there was only the 20k, and I did use debug for this one, but I was super excited that I was actually able to get it below the 10k. So at first, it was right on the 10k when you placed it down, but when I was playtesting the lot, it became an issue of the house itself needed to be raised by one. So raising it by one basically charged eight simoleons, and I didn't want to just be 10,008. I wanted it to be less than 10k since that is part of the challenge at the end of the day. I did have quite a few more windows than I expected, but just deleting one or two windows wasn't really going to make the difference that I needed it to make, so I ended up removing some of the decorative items here and there. But the house can very comfortably fit two sims. I actually, when I was playtesting, I ended up using the house to play even a bit longer, so there's going to be a table beside the couch at one point where I put some books, which... I like books, they're easy for your sim to learn skills, but I hate that your sim always goes for a book. They basically behave the same way as if you had a fireplace, they'll always try to turn it on. In this case, they'll always try to get a book. There's stuff that I just don't know why sims do, but what I did like about the table that I chose there is it actually snapped next to the couch. I found that rather surprising since I don't believe that used to be a thing. And it wasn't just a matter of it was trying to place on the block next to it, it snapped to the side of the couch. So not sure if it just happened to work out that way or if it's actually supposed to do that. I found that pretty cool. As for the color scheme of everything, I wanted to include a lot of different colors, particularly when I was doing the outside, I wanted it to be yellow at one point. But I figured that was a bit too much considering we are in the desert for this lot. And speaking of the outside, when you are, let's say, on the ground level, it's never going to show the house. So the way to make this type of lot work, if you want something to be showing underneath, like in this case, I wanted the trailer to show underneath. And I also put a truck. These are a few debug items that I picked up while I was looking for the trailer itself. But the truck seems way too small for this trailer. You would probably need to get an actual tractor to move it. But the way you can make it so that the trailer is shown underneath, which I completely forgot this was something you could do and I had to look it up myself, you actually build two floors and then remove the first floor. So basically this trailer is supposed to be a second floor, which I just happened to put stairs up to. It's something that I wouldn't necessarily say is glitchy, but I would say it is a bit annoying when it comes to the point of your sim going up and down for example, when they're trying to take out the trash, they're just on a different level. So the only thing to remember is that, just remember to keep it in mind. But I was really quite happy with how this house turned out, and there were so many more things that I wanted to add, even with the budget that I had. But there's a little section that I made outside that I wanted to put a barbecue there. Budget just didn't allow for me to actually get a barbecue. But when I was playing it on my own, I removed the items that I had put in there to fill up the space and did put a barbecue. And the area underneath the little, let's call it a tent, that I ended up putting outside, it's not quite a pergola since it's fabric, but it is another debug item. I ended up just putting a debug table under there just to fill up the space a bit more. But the sim that I used to playtest a lot of my houses actually wanted a bar there. They have the mixology aspiration, so I figured why not just put a bar in there. I also wanted to put a pool somewhere, but I didn't want to remove everything that I had just built. So all in all, 
Even just playtesting this lot made me want to keep playing on the lot. There were also a few items that I forgot near the end, such as a mailbox. I always forget to put a mailbox for some reason, and whenever I place a lot and the world automatically generates it, it always does it on the inside. So this time, I was proud of myself for actually remembering to put one down. But I had also forgotten to put an outside bin, which if you don't have one, your sim will just keep generating garbage and you won't have anywhere to get rid of it at the end of the day. So when I remembered that, that was when I had to remove some of the decorative items since that does actually cost you money, whereas a mailbox doesn't. But anyways, we are getting close to the end of the video. I know it is a bit of a shorter one for today, but this was a really fun challenge between having a smaller space and the budget and making it look like a trailer all at the same time. So let me know what you think down below of this one. Let me know what you'd like me to try out next. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great weekend.